this is Christopher with Two Guys in a Cricket, and this is our first video tutorial where I'm going to teach you the difference between an SVG file and any other image that you would pull from the internet. Now an SVG file is just very simply a file that you will load in that are multiple layers that Design Space will automatically place on different maps for you. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you an SVG file that I've actually gotten from Scrappy-Doo. I'm also going to show you in the next segment how you can actually grab an SVG file from the internet uh, from any type of search engine. But this one is actually one that would be purchased from Scrappy-Doo. So we'll go into our upload image. And once we click the upload image, there's going to be a box that will come up. And that box is going to say basic upload or vector upload. In this case, we're going to use the vector upload because that will allow us to upload an SVG or DXF file for free. And what will happen is a cut path will be created for us automatically in Design Space. And then the different colors will be on different layers. So we'll hit vector upload and we'll hit browse. And wherever you save your SVG files to, that is where they are going to actually be located right here in Design Space. So tic-tac-toe is what we're going to use from Scrappy-Doo. And then with this file, we're going to click on the SVG. And then these are all of the SVGs that we have for, uh, for our uh, image that we're going to pull in. So we're going to pull each of these in individually. So we're going to pull in the first one. And this is for this uh, little girl hill. So what we're going to do is we'll actually just pull in this one. And we won't do the entire image because this will make it a little bit simpler. So we'll hit Save Image. And once we save the image, it's going to pop in down here on our uploaded images. So we'll hit the check. Green check means that it's going to be inserted. We'll hit insert images, and then it will pop up right here on our screen. And again, like I said, everything that is going to come into uh, our design space here that is an SVG file is going to be cut on different layers. So thankfully, with Scrappy-Doo, what they include is a little picture of what the image is going to look like. All that you would have to do from this point is hit go, and once you hit go, it is going to break these down into individual pieces for you to paper piece together. And it will give you each color of the mat, it will give you the order in which the mats are going to be cut, and it will also give you, uh, you know, the different, uh, the different layers, essentially, that you're going to be using here. So what we have here is we have, of course, the black layer, um, the red layer, this is just a different shade of red. Uh, we also have here like a gold layer. Uh, we have the flesh tone layer, and then we have the white layer. Now what you can do here is of course you can make more than one project, and it's going to tell us here that we have six maps. So that is essentially the basics on what will, what will happen when you bring in an SVG file that you have purchased from one of the many designers that are out there currently. Now next, what I would like to show you to do is, or how to do, excuse me, is how to go ahead and bring in an image from the, uh, from the internet. And this is gonna be another SVG image. And what we're going to do is we're gonna hop on over to Google and we are going to search for, let's say, pig SVG. And once we pull up the pig SVG, we're gonna see here that we have free vectors for free download. Uh, and it's all free download.com. You can go wherever you would like to get uh, an SVG, but I like this one here that's called Madame Pig. So we'll click on it. We'll click here for a free download, and that's going to come up here to my downloads. I'm just going to drag the Madame Pig over here and uh, set her on my desktop so I know where to find her. And then I'll go to my back to my Cricut Canvas. Same uh, same thing that we did before. We'll hit upload image. We'll hit the vector upload, because again, this is an SVG, browse, and then we'll go to our desktop where the Madam Pig was, <laughs> and we'll click on Madam Pig SVG, and then we'll hit save image. And now we have an SVG that we found online. So we'll click on her here, we'll hit insert image, and again, the exact same thing is going to happen here. As you can see, uh, this was you know created by someone, this little Madam Pig. And uh, all of these different layers are different layers that are uh, that make up uh, all these different pieces. So if you would hit go, again, it's going to give us all of these on separate mats, and uh, everything would cut out, and you would just use this to figure out how exactly you are going to create this image. Now, 
I'm going to show you, we'll delete this image, I'm going to show you when we don't necessarily need an SVG. Uh, myself, as well as the other admin images, often see where individuals will ask for an SVG, say, of uh, a dog or an SVG of a, a heart or something of that nature. And we don't even really need the SVGs of that, uh, those simple art pieces if we can find them online. So now let's go back to Google. So we'll just hit uh, back and we'll get to Google here. And once we get back, we'll just type in something like, uh, let's stick with the pig, pig uh, silhouette. And what we'll see here is we'll just click into images and we have tons of pig silhouettes here. So instead of using uh, an image or an SVG that we are searching for and we all search for them, I know, <laughs> what we can do is we can go ahead and on my Mac, I'll take this and I'll drag this piggy over onto my desktop. Now this is a JPEG, so let's go ahead and go back to our Cricut Canvas and we will click on upload image. Now this time, since it is just a basic upload, we'll hit upload image on the left hand side. We'll hit continue to step one. We will browse and then we will find on our desktop that new pig. So here's the pig silhouette. We're gonna do a simple image for this one uh, because it is just a simple black and white silhouette. We'll continue to step two. And as you can see here with the pig, we're gonna to need to clean up the area around him so we can create a cut file. So what I like to use is the select and delete tool. It looks like a little magic wand here. And we'll just click and that will delete everything around that pig. And then what we'll do is we'll hit this little eye icon up here and it will show us what the cut line is going to look like. Now, if we wanted to go back, you can hit this undo button here, and we also have an eraser tool. With the eraser tool, you can erase around the pig if you would like. Uh, you can also make the eraser size larger to erase around the pig. Or, of course, you can go ahead and say that you did not want this tail here, you wanted to add your own tail. You can erase that tail right off of him, and that will then create a cut line uh, without the tail. So let's go ahead and we'll go back. And with the magic wand tool, that is my favorite, the select and delete tool, you can go ahead and get a pretty good cut line as long as the background is a, a clear white or a clear solid color. So we'll continue to step three. We'll hit save image here, and then our image will be saved. And we can go ahead and down here at the bottom where we have uploaded, we'll just click again, green and green means go. We'll hit insert images and we have our pig now. Now the great part of this is we'll make him larger here and we'll hit go and once we hit go actually right now it's saying that it wants to print so let's go out of here and I'll give you a quick we're going to go into a little bit more in depth on another tutorial about this print option but we want to click off of print and we want to make sure that we want to unflatten first because that automatically wants to print him and we'll click and we'll make sure that he is going to be cut. So now he's going to be cut we will hit go and when we hit go, that's going to, again, bring our pig up onto the mat, and this is how it's going to cut him out. Again, in further tutorials that we have, uh, we're going to show you what the different cut, write, score, as well as print icons mean, and we'll kind of go over a little bit more in depth. So now, just to review what we talked about today, we have gone over what an SVG file looks like whenever you purchase it one from one of the amazing designers that are out there. We've also reviewed what an SVG may look like that you just find from a free site or a free Google search. And we've also reviewed how you can actually bring images in and you might not even need an SVG for it. Uh, there is another great video that is out there that was actually created uh, by, my, uh, by my peer, <laughs> my counterpart, my crafty friend, uh, Ken of Ken's Creations. And uh, he actually shows how to create layers from images that you find on a Google search. So we'll make sure to post that video as well. But for today, this is just a simple lesson that I wanted to explain to everybody the difference between an SVG and an image that you find online. And I hope that this helps with everyone uh, so that you're not constantly looking and searching and asking for SVGs because a lot of the things that you're looking for, you can really just make yourself and it's super easy. I thank you so much for watching today and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.